What's up you all? It's King Brittany Chanel and I'm back with yet another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you all about a popular natural hairstyle, that being Passion Twist, okay? You might have caught, heard this called Passion Twist, Afro Twist, Spring Twist, Bomb Twist, Marley Twist, Havana Twist, all kind of twists. We're gonna be talking about it today and I'm also gonna be showing you how I install mine so if you like these sort of videos definitely make sure you like comment and subscribe hit your notification bell so that you're notified every time i release a video let's get started i hope y'all enjoy <laughs> alright you all so i'm taking my um outre afro spring twist hair and i've already plaited my hair I have my crochet needle and my hair does have a rubber band on it but it's gonna um, pop as my hair grows out it's like a soft texture my hair is also thick so I'm just closing up the hair on the, you know on the needle and I'm lightly pulling it through do not rip your hair trying to pull a crochet needle through you could also feed like less hair in at one time but my hair is thick so either way with the hair being kind of uh, the afro texture it was going to be a little hard to pull it through so i'm just lightly pulling you know the hair through and pay attention to me like adjusting the sides like if you want your hair longer one side is going to be longer than the other when you're braiding if you want it like a bob type of length then you're going to do what i'm doing here and i'm just kind of getting this little tangle out from the afro hair so everything is all good. I'm just getting the tangle out because this hair is afro texture and sometimes it's just, it is what it is. It's going to be tangles. But the important part is um, the hair is going to blend with your hair seamlessly because of the texture. Like you don't, like as my hair grows out, you're not going to really notice those knots. It's going to look like it's a part of the twist. So I'm taking the hair into three. I'm adding like my real hair to the to the middle section and I'm going to begin to braid. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm braiding the top until you know the hair totally covers my real hair. And then as I get toward the bottom, I'm going to begin to twist. So you'll see me start to twist. Like right now I'm braiding to secure the hair in place. And as you see, like I'm trying to just detangle, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm detangling the afro hair at the same time and I'm braiding. So I'm braiding, braiding like a, a normal braid until my real hair disappears in the hair in, you know, in its entirety, okay? And then once I'm done braiding, I'm going to split the hair into two and begin to do like a three strand type of twist or you can do a two strand, but it's going to be a difference in the twist. So still kind of now I'm beginning to twist at this point. So you can see like I'm beginning to twist, but if you do a three strand twist, your twist will be tighter. If you do a two strand twist, it'll be looser. So it's up to you. But this hair is perfect for being like a juicier texture and it, your hair will blend with it perfectly. And I'm just proceeding to like detangle and twist. Detangle and twist. I'm just taking out the little pieces of shed hair and twisting, twisting, twisting and just detangle as you go and also to soften the hair you could always use a little bit of like leave-in conditioner because some people are kind of like oh is this marley hair but i would say that the outre hair is a little bit softer than marley hair marley hair is a little bit drier um i don't really use marley hair um on my twist this is like the only hair I pretty much use to do these type of twists because it matches my own texture and I like how the ends curl up so that's all you do guys you just you know plait your hair 
pull the uh, crochet hair through your hair and then you proceed to braid and twist like you would your own hair. All right, you all. So I showed you a little bit um, of how I use the crochet method, individual crochet method, to install my passion twist. Now I'm gonna be giving you some tips on how to get an easy install, how to make it look good if you're a beginner, you know, some different tips and tricks, okay? So first, let's start off with what type of hair you're going to use because that's gonna determine how your passion twist, spring twist, bomb twist, uh, Marley Havana twist, that's gonna determine how it looks, okay? Me, personally, I tend to shy away from the silky, uh, shiny, uh, 3C-ish type of hair. Um, and not because I don't like the hair, it's just that my hair, I know the texture of it. I have 4B4C hair. I'm not trying, and my hair is like mega thick, so I'm not trying to do my hair and then the next week it's looking like the hair is still shiny and curly and then my hair is, is, is busting through, okay? That's not the look that I'm going for. So I tend to shy away from those silkier texture uh, hairs to do um, twist. I like my hair, my twist to look very natural esque. Um, this is how my hair would look if it's twisted. A lot of people ask me sometimes if this is my actual hair, depending on the way that I installed it. Sometimes I could do it to where it's not list. Sometimes I don't do it to where uh, it, you know, sometimes I do it to where it has a knot, I mean. So I, the goal for my twist is to look thick. I like it juicy looking. I like it to um, not be shiny, like, because if you see this, this doesn't have a shiny texture. It's very matte, like how natural hair actually is. I like it to have a boho type of vibe, okay? I don't really like my twist to be shiny and just, if that's your hair texture, that may work better for you, but I feel like over time, like, I've tried that type of hair, and over time, like... What happens is at the very top or wherever your hair stops that your hair is going to come frizzing up, busting through, and then the hair at the bottom is going to be shiny and girl. And then too, when you use that type of hair, you have to use a boatload of gel uh, to make sure that your hair stays tucked into that. And if you're going to be going, especially to get your hair done or you're paying to get that done, that's like you pay, you're paying all of that money and then having to take the style out in about a week to two weeks is kind of like no so also you need to know what your hair's density is okay when protective styling you know what is cute on another girl you know micro twists might be cute on another girl but if your hair cannot handle that you need to kind of maybe shy away from high tension type of styles when I first started, I will, you know, insert the picture of how tiny I did mine the first time, okay? I have, I actually have a video. You know what? I will link the video, and I also will put the picture of how small I started when I first started uh, doing Passion Twist. And, y'all, that, I had no breakage, no breakage, but what I, what I noticed is that certain parts of my hair would be a little bit sore so you have to you know determine you know what your density is so that you can avoid breakage you can uh, uh, avoid high stress on your hair now i do not do the micro type of uh twist anymore even though they look really pretty i don't do that anymore um, and then too, it's a pain to take it out. It's a pain to put it in and it takes way too long. I'm not sitting there trying to install for three, five hours, no twist, okay? If I wanted that, I would just go get it done and I would pay to sit there. I don't like sitting a long time to do my hair. Um, it took me exactly probably like maybe an hour to do my hair. And um, that's what I like. I like to do mine a decent size. So, you know, it's still full. 
but I want to be able to, if I have to take a section out to wash my hair or deep condition that section, I want to be able to move like that. I don't want to be sitting there uh, taking down braids and the smaller you do it, it's more tangles and stuff like that because I use like a, um, kind of like a rougher texture hair or afro texture hair to do mine because it blends with my hair. So um, also when you're choosing your hair to do whatever type of twist that you're doing you have to determine like you know if your hair like i said can hold it like maybe a heavier hair or a rougher hair may not work for your hair because your hair may be fine and thin you have to determine that okay i like lightweight so the outre uh afro twist hair that i use is extremely lightweight um it's just they say like it's it's pre-fluff which it is pre-fluff but anytime that you use afro textured hair like y'all seen i was working my way through it like once you work your way through it it gets good okay like so you might have a little you know trying to separate it because i separate mine like it comes pre-fluff pre-separated and i separate it further so that's why you see me kind of like taking off you know the pieces that didn't belong and braiding it and twisting it all together um i am eventually going to maybe find another uh type of hair that i like to use i i want to kind of use wool because i feel like wool is more lightweight it's still the same texture of my hair and not to mention that um the cleanup is easier because when you're using uh whatever type of hair you're using you know, of course, it's going to be shedding during the braid process and stuff like that sometimes, which could be annoying uh, for cleanup. So that's the only con that I had um, with using like Afro texture hair, like the same way, like if you braid your hair, it's going to be a little, uh, <laughs> a little dust ball looking thing. It happens with the hair. So it, it wasn't that bad, but I don't really like, you know, having a vacuum, dust mop and all kind of stuff to get all of that up. So that's something that I'll think about in the future. Um, also my hair is thicker so as you can see like when I was doing it like you know pulling the crochet through don't just pull it through like where you trying to rip it through you could actually feed in less hair and pull it through that way and then braid it all together that way um, but it's just when you're doing this style the benefits of this style I feel like when you use this type of hair is that um, the hair like the outre hair is it's like a rough texture but it's still soft at the same time so moisture is getting to my hair um i like passion twist and marley havana type of twist over um you know i wanted like the faux locks i do enjoy like the the faux locks but only the new lock version of faux locks i don't like the faux locks where you know you have to wrap the hair because the hair begins to get heavy so like I was saying, you just have to know what your hair can hold, okay? You don't want to be getting a beautiful style, and then as your hair is growing out, you're missing chunks of hair. So think about that, okay? If you have finer hair, you should probably do a lightweight hair, bigger braids, okay? I was noticing, like I said, when I did the smaller braids, you know, it, uh was it just it was it was weighing on certain areas and then also like i said y'all if you've been watching my channel i'm doing like my edge challenge to where i have not been using any edge control on my edges and the results are getting very very good so um not i like like the afro textured hair because i don't have to slick my edges every single day i like locks i like you know boho looking twists because it is what it is it's like this is how my hair would actually look when it gets longer because when it gets longer i'm going to be you know doing my own hair and twists like i mean i wear my own hair and twists now um but it's just like i want to be able to do different styles that's the only thing and it's medium length now so when it starts to get into its full you know glow it's supposed to be on and popping just know <laughs> My hair gets really long, guys. So, um, I just personally feel like I just, I really did not enjoy the smaller ones because of the install time. It causing like areas of my hair to be sore because 
it's like you don't want your your edges are very i would say a delicate area okay you don't want to put all that pressure on different areas so i tend to make my braids as i said bigger so that's something that you should think about when protective styling i also like like i said that this hair is a afro texture yet soft because when i'm going through with my oil bottle um the hair is actually going down the hair like when i oil my scalp the oil is going all the way down and it's making sure even the hair that's inside of the twist is getting moisturized i even wash my hair in my twist i'll take out sections of twist um and wash that area like if i apply a lot of grease or something to the front of my hair i will take that whole section out wash it put new hair and twist it back so um i like it um as far as length let's talk about length when you're doing passion twists you have to determine that too like what kind of um it's very lightweight but what type of weight do you really want like the longer hair it could get snagged on a lot of stuff that's why i didn't do it super long this time typically i do do my like boho passion twist very long sometimes and how you do that is the longer it is probably the less juicy it kind of is i find that when i do my hair longer and i want it like still thick or like a juicy type of you see how this is thick that's why i also like the type of hair that i use because you can use less hair like i will when i'm pulling it through there's two parts like this right you just pull it down like that like so let's say that this is the crochet hair right one side will be shorter that's how you make your hair longer when you use this hair you would make you would uh kind of what, what do they call it? stagger it where you just slide it down a little bit and then you would braid your hair into it and then split as the hair starts to the braid gets you know your braid gets you know trapped in there you would then begin to start twisting everything all together like separating what's left and then twisting it all together like that as i showed y'all in the video so you just have to determine what length that you want. Um, when you do it the way that I showed you in the video um, that I just put on here, it will come out thicker and shorter, kind of like bob length. If you stagger it, it will be longer and the ends will kind of be like, you know, skinnier and then it'll be longer. Like it'll be like lower back length, depending on how, I want to say how tall you are, right? So, um, yeah, this is why I like this as a protective style. You let me know in the comment section below, do you enjoy Passion Twist, Havana Twist, Marley Twist? Um, and I can have this, typically when I install this, I can have this for about two to three months. Um, and my hair will still look fresh because I do sleep with a satin scarf on. And as I said, um, because I'm not using a silkier texture hair, even when it grows out, I let my roots get puffy because the more puffy it is, the more realistic it looks. Like, I don't really like when I first install my hair. I like when it grows out because it begins to have that beautiful lock type of look. Like, you're kind of growing locks, but you did two strand twists. Um, when really, this is, and you make, when you're twisting, oh, this is a good one. Before I go, you want to make sure you're three strand twisting, Okay. Um, you can do a two strand twist. Okay. It will come out. I would say it would come out like a little bit looser. Like, um, the areas that I was a little slacky with, like right here, you can see, right? You can see that it's not as tight and it's not that that's a problem, but you want it to be, okay. Let me show you an area that I, okay. You see how this is tighter? Like this is, it goes from a braid and it's tighter. That's what you want, okay? I mean, not that this is a problem because it still looks like realistic, but uh, if you want, like, if you don't want your hair, like, easily slipping out and stuff like that, which is, my hair is not going to come out easily slipping out, but um, because this is not as tight, I might, like, in a couple of days, I don't have to take the whole thing out, but I'll just kind of take the twist apart and kind of three-strand it to make sure that it stays but this is really low maintenance this is really why i like it i can moisture like i literally just spray my hair with water i be in the pool with this i literally like be in the shower with this 
just spray my hair with some water aloe vera uh in it you know every morning and put a little jamaican mango and lime in there and my hair grows like super long in twists like i don't really like braids box braids i like twists more than i like box braids because ever since i've been little twists have grown my hair well for whatever reason the way that twists are it just really grows my hair so I hope you all enjoyed some of my protective style tips as far as like how to install passion twists, giving y'all the a whole tea on, you know, how to get a good passion twist uh, install. And if you like these sort of videos, definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also check out my uh, review of the Outre Afro Twist, Spring Twist, Balm Twist type of hair. I did um, do a whole video on it showing like, you know, what I liked about the hair, what I didn't like about the hair and why you should choose certain types of hair before installing a uh, passion twist and things like that. So I will see you all soon on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Hey honeys, thank you for watching my video. And if you haven't, definitely make sure you check out my Teespring King Brittany Chanel Couture where you can find my latest merch. I upload a lot of new designs frequently so definitely make sure you check it out we have mugs we have wall tapestries canvas art pillows fleece blankets apparel and so much more thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all on my next video